Thanks for tuning in guys today. So I will be showing you a short tutorial on how to do a knockout design. Try to make this as easy as possible. So it requires for you to have obviously the images that you're using um, in this situation. It's an SVG picture of a sunflower and a name. And I want to put this name in here without having to shrink it down so much. Um, that it looks teeny and um, too small for the space. I want it to be kind of even and a nice shape and size there. So, um, so let's just work on the name first on how you go about this. So first up, so you got your name here already typed up. Go up to the side toolbar. You're gonna select to open the offset panel, which is what we are currently in. And since it's already, already highlighted, we're gonna go ahead to offset. And once you've clicked on that offset, um, I mean, you can do sharp edges or rounded. I'm gonna stick with kind of how the lettering already looks, which is rounded. So we have rounded, and then you're going to enlarge in Enlarge, and that's not even a word. Anyways, enlarge around the letters. As you can see, if I go in close, there's this lining around the word or the name. So we don't want it so much so where it's like everything is kind of mushed together here and the edges and stuff like that. So I think that's pretty good how it looks right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and then click and drag away the original one. Click on, ooh, no, we don't wanna do that. Mess up the whole thing. Anyways, highlight both of these portions of that name, drag it over, or actually, you know what? Because if I, I'm gonna center all this sort of stuff. If I do that without welding this first, it's just gonna create problems. So I have those two things selected. I go off to the side to the toolbar. I go into here where it says open the modify panel. Go into make. And since I clicked on make, now it's one piece versus the two pieces that we had. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over, kind of align it how I think I would like it. And then I like it to be centered, so I'm gonna highlight both pieces. Go up to here and click on align center. And that looks pretty good to me. So after you have that done, and both of those are highlighted. You're gonna go back over here to where it says modify, click on subtract, boom. Look what just happened. I just eliminated these areas. And now I can bring in that original font and drag it over. And now it's gonna fit in here like a glove, y'all. So just keep moving things around until it gets centered properly and not touching like any edges or anything like that because if when you go to cut this i mean it's just literally going to cut um overlapping these uh, leaves and the letters and stuff like that so you don't want that so pretty much what you want to do is grab the corners and kind of drag them around until it fits perfectly within that space You stretch it to the left or to the right. I think this is pretty good. I think I might make it a little, sh no, not shorter, but a little bit taller. Slightly. Okay, perfect. So it is not touching any sides or anything like this. And when you go to um, the top and you go to send to cut this off of your mat, um, literally, you don't have to do much. It's already highlighted. Everything in red is obviously going to cut. Um, so then you would go over to the side and then you would select if you're doing like heat transfer 
um, vinyl that is like smooth or whatever and my settings um, typically are around like a, a three blade measurement uh, speed I usually do about an eight force I usually do about a five or a six um, and it turns out good uh, he I heat it usually around 315 to tweet. Oh, yeah, I can't talk today. <laughs> to 320 for about 15 to 20 seconds. Um, and then I lift my heat press and then I go ahead and I press again um, to do another like 15 seconds if it's heat transfer vinyl. But since this is something that I'm going to use as a stencil, um, I don't have to do mirroring or anything like that. So I would just go into um, my settings for stencil and I don't have to do much of nothing besides go down to the bottom and um, go ahead and run the material through the machine. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, um, comments or anything like that, or if this has helped you, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate you taking the time and listening to me ramble on and fumble over my words. But anyways, you guys take care and have a great day.